Okay, um, solving linear equations. Here's this first assessment. It's a review of the first assessment on this second standard. This is standard two. We've taken standard one. And um, now all this is about is solving for the variable, finding what the variable x would equal. I usually use x for all the problems. Um, the first thing you do, if you have any subtraction operators, you need to fix them. So we have the subtraction here, so plus negative. Okay, if you have a parentheses, you need to use a distributive property. We do not have that problem here, so we will not be doing it. Okay, know your x multipliers or dividers. Well, here's x. It has no multiplier, okay? There's no number in front of it with a, no sign between it. It's not being divided, so we don't have any. Okay, add like terms of each side of the equation where possible. So the only adding I have is the x and the negative 18. Those are not like terms. Now make sure you have x on just one side of the equation, which I do. It's right here. Now undo the adding. So you're adding a negative 18, so I would want to use adding just regular 18. You're either going to subtract or add the regular number, the positive integer. So those cancel and um, add it to the other side. Negative 20 plus 18 is negative 2. Okay, next problem. Negative 4x equals negative 60. So you don't have any subtraction operators. If you have parentheses, use the distributive property. We don't. Know your x multiplier divider. So the x and negative 4 have no sign between them, then it means multiplication. Okay, so make sure I know that. Or actually, don't put the dot there. Just circle it if it's multiplication or division. Okay, add or add or collect like terms on each side where possible. So, well, you have no adding in the whole equation, so I don't think you can do like terms. Okay, now undo any adding outside of the multiplication. There's there is none. So undo your undo your multiplication division. So we have a multiplication, and we undo that by dividing. So negative 60 divided by negative 4 is 15. Okay, next problem. Negative 1 equals 7 plus 8x. We have no subtraction operators. Um, you don't have to use the distributive property. You don't have the, the non-like terms in a parentheses. Know your x multipliers or dividers. So here's 8x. So x has a multiplier of 8. So just as long as I know that. Okay, add like terms on each side of the equation where possible. The only addings with the 7 and the 8x, those are not like terms. We cannot add those. Make sure you have x on just one side of the equation. There it is. Undo any adding. Okay, so we have a 7 that's being added to my 8x. So I'm going to take 7 away. Negative 1 minus 7 is going to be negative 8 equals 8x. Now undo your multiplication or division. So the x is being multiplied by 8, so I get rid of it by dividing by 8. So negative 8 divided by 8 is negative 1. Okay, my next problem. Negative 23 equals negative 2x minus 10 plus x. Okay, you got a minus negative 2x and 10 of a minus. Let's make that plus negative. If you have parentheses, use the distributive property. I do not have that problem here. Know what your x multipliers are. So this x here is a negative 2. And this x here doesn't have a multiplier, so I'm just going to circle that. Remember, the 10 is being added. to. You see the plus, so it's being added. It's not a multiplier. I like to circle the x and its multipliers or dividers, but that's up to you. Okay, collect like terms on each side of the equation where possible. Well, here, there's two adding. you got a negative 2x plus a negative 10 plus x. The two x's are like terms. So you got negative 2x, and you're going to add 1x because these x's here are like terms, and they are on the same side, though, so they need to be added. Okay, so I have negative 23. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1x, and then we add the negative 10. That's still there. 
So again, we had two addition. If we have three things being added over here, two of them are like terms. That's a given. Okay, make sure you have x on just one side of the equation. I do. It's right here. Okay, undo the adding part. Okay, so x, negative 1 is multiplied by the x. So I have a negative 10 being added, so I'd plus 10, add 10 to both sides, and negative 13 equals negative 1 times x. And now I undo the multiplication or division. We have multiplication, so I undo that through division. So that's 13 equals x. Okay, next problem. Fix your subtraction operator so that x minus 1 will be x plus negative 1. If you have a parenthesis, you need to use the distributive property, and we do here, okay? Because x plus negative 1, that's like having 1x plus negative 1 if you need a number to go there. Okay, know your x multiplier. Okay, so we have to use the distributive property. So again, these are non-like terms, so we need to distribute the 7 to each term. So 7 times 1x is 7x, and 7 times negative 1 is negative 7, equals 45, because there's nothing else to add after that's been distributed. Okay, know your x multipliers or dividers, so the x is being multiplied by 7. kind of like to circle that. Um, Add like terms on each side of the equation where possible. So here's where the adding takes place, but these two are not like terms. Make sure you have x on just one side of the equation. I do it's right here. And um, undo any adding that's being anything that's being added to the x. This negative 7, so we need 2 plus 7. Okay, so 7x equals 52. And now it's on time to undo any multiplication or division. So the x is being multiplied by 7, so I'm going to divide by 7. So 7.43, round to the nearest 100. Okay, fix subtraction, or let's read the equation. 2 times the parentheses quantity x plus 2 equals negative 9 times the quantity 2 plus x. Okay, if you have parentheses, use the distributive properties so we have them. You should really put a 1 in front of the x so you can see what you're going to be distributing. 2 to 1x, 2 to 2. 2 plus x, again, you should really put a 1 as a multiplier on the x so you can see clearly what you're multiplying. Okay, so 2 times 1x is 2x, and 2 times 2 is 4. And I cross that out. There's nothing else over there to add, so equals. Negative, two time, negative 9 times 2 is negative 18. And here, here it's going to be the second product that has the x. Negative 9 times 1x is negative 9x. Okay, know your x multipliers or dividers. So here we have an x being multiplied by 2. Here we got an x by negative 9. Okay, collect like terms on each side of the equation where possible. So here's a plus, but 2x and 4 can't be added. And then on this side we have plus between these two, but those are not like terms. One has an x, one does not. You can't add. Okay, make sure you have x on just one side of the equation. Well, that's a problem here. We have it on both sides, so I should pick the smaller one and balance the equation, okay? So if it's negative 9x, we'll add 9x, and then we'll add 9x to the other side. So that's 11x plus 4 equals negative 18. Okay, now you undo your adding. Now let's look at the x. Well, we know it's being multiplied by 11. The 4 is a number being added, so I, it's positive 4, so I subtract it. And negative 18 minus 4 is negative 22. 11 times x equals negative 22. And then undo the multiplication by division. So negative 22 divided by 11 is negative 2. Okay, next problem. Once again, 
it's very important you kind of know the standard protocol for this okay subtraction operators don't have any parentheses don't have any don't have to do the distributed property know your x multipliers are dividers so we have a 3x and a 3x collect like terms on each side where possible plus you can't combine those you can't combine those Make sure you have x on just one side of the equation. Okay, well, they're obviously on both sides, but they're the exact same. So if they're the exact same, rather than try to balance it, they'll cancel out. Okay, and it says four, so that turns it into either an all solution answer or a no solution answer. Is four equal to two? It's a real easy question. No, not last time I checked, four and two are not equal. Hence, no solution. Now, if it was 4 equals 4, it would be all solutions. Okay, next problem. X divided by negative 3 plus 6 equals 19. You don't have any subtraction operators. If you have a parenthesis, you don't have a parenthesis, so why even worry about that? Know your x multiplier divider. So x has no multiplier in the front, but it does have a divider. Okay, add, collect terms on each side of the equation where possible. Well, here's the adding, but these are not like terms. This has an x, this does not. Make sure you have x on just one side of the equation, which we do. Undo any adding, so we're adding a positive 6, so I would want to subtract 6. And 19 minus 6 is 13, so I have x divided by negative 3 equals 13. Now you undo the multiplication division. It's division we're trying to undo, so I would want to do the opposite, multiply. Now multiplication is commutative, so it doesn't really matter the order you multiply the two factors as long as you multiply them. That's negative 39. I have a lot of people who get to this step and then try to divide 13 by 3. No, you don't cancel out division by dividing. You do the opposite. Okay, next problem. Um, no subtraction operators, no parentheses. X, multi X has a divider of 4. Collect like terms on each side of the equation where possible. Um, there's no adding at all, so why would I worry about that? Make sure you have x on just one side of the equation. Okay, I do. There's no adding to undo, but we do have division to undo, so we're just going to multiply by 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, negative 5, 6x equals 20. Okay, now you have no subtraction. You have no parentheses. Know your x multipliers or dividers. Well, x actually has both here. Negative 5 is a multiplier, and 6 is a divider. So I'm going to circle that whole thing with the multiplier and the divider. Okay, collect like terms on each side of the equation. Again, we don't even have the adding operation in this equation, so I can't add like terms. I don't even bother with that. Make sure you have x on just one side of the equation. We do. Okay, there's no adding to undo, but we have to undo both of these now. We undo the division first because it doesn't matter the order I do that. Okay, I just take 20 times 6, and that is 120. So negative 5x equals 120, and now I undo the multiplication by negative 5 by dividing. And that gives me negative 24. Okay, then some story problems. You have $85 in your bank account each week. You, remember, each week means per week. Each week you plan to deposit $23 into the account. How many weeks from now will you have $175? So we, we want to find the number of weeks. But not only do I just have weeks, I have dollars to go with that. Okay, So I set up an independent, dependent variable system here. Okay, so weeks is the answer to the problem, and then I also have dollars. Now, the time unit weeks needs to be the independent variable x, and y is the dependent variable. Okay, dollars per week. 
dollar each week, so that's twenty-three dollars. So it's a linear equation, so I'm going to represent it with a line. So I have x comma y plus mx. M stands for the dollars per week amount I came up with equals y. Okay, so I know m is 23. So I know 23. Now prior to depositing $23 per week, we started with $85. So now I can write the equation, okay? We started with $85, and from there we add 23x, because x is the weeks and it's per week, and then equals y. Okay, now the, in, the $175 needs to be input into the equation for the appropriate variable. Now it's dollars, so dollars is y, so I need to parenthesize the y and then empty it and replace it with 175. Now since y has no multiplier, I'm not going to keep the parentheses there. I'm just going to replace it with 175. Okay, then we solve it. x has a multiplier of 23. And really the only thing I have to do is cancel out the adding of 85. So I have minus 85 minus 85. So 23 times x equals 90. And then we cancel out the multiplication of 23 by division. Okay, 3.9. Uh, we're going to go 4. That's close enough to 4. Okay. An office manager spent $650 on a new energy-saving copier. The copier will cost $88 per each month for electricity. Now, the old copier is obviously paid for, but it used to cost $212 each month for electricity. How many months will the copier pay for itself? That means, that means when is... Um, when is having the new copier going to cost the exact same amount as the old copier? So we're finding the number of months that those costs are going to be equal. So I have months and dollars. So months is x, dollars is y. So per dollars per month. Now I have $88 per month and $112 each month, but they're different copiers, so I need to keep those separate. So $88 and $112 are my rates of change. Okay, now that's going to be two separate lines in. So we have x comma y plus mxy, put equals y there. So I have my beginning point here, xy, x is 0, plus mx y. Okay, now we know we can replace those m's with 88, because 88 x, because it's $88 per month, and 112, because that's $112 per month. And then prior to the $88 per month, this copier cost $650, so we're going to cross each one of these out. So that we had an initial amount of money of $650 before we added $88 per month. Now this I don't really see any prior amounts with the 112, so I'm going to assume zero. And remember when we write these equations, when I want to find out when this is equal to this, I don't need the y variable when I write this equation. Okay? I want to know when six. So I want to know when 650 plus 88x is equal to zero plus 112x. So in other words, it's just 112x. Okay, now we have two x's floating around the problem, and um, they're on opposite sides. We need them on just one side of the equation, so it's, we need to balance it. So let's take away our smaller x. It's positive, so we're going to minus. Okay, so we have 650... And we take 112 minus 88, and that's going to give me 24. Okay, then 24 is multiplied by the x. There's no adding I need to cancel out. I just need to cancel out then the multiplication of 24 by dividing. 
So 650 divided by 24, uh, 27. That's really close to 27, so 27 months. Two years and uh, three months.